Hello everyone and welcome to The Order. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Franken fan. In other words, show you how to replace a damage rotor on a PC fan. Let's begin. For the Franken fan you will need a donor fan, a receiver fan, a vernier caliper, cotton swabs, rubbing alcohol, industrial oil and tape. These are our fans. This one has a burned out stator so it's going to be our donor fan and this one has a broken fin so it's going to be the receiver. Some of you may ask why don't I just glue the fin back. I have tried this before and each time the fin couldn't withstand the rotational forces of the fan and it eventually breaks off. The only solution is to change the entire rotor. First you have to peel off the stickers on both fans. On these fans the rubber plugs covering the bearings are missing. If there are there, remove them. After that take a cotton swab and soak up as much of the lubricant as possible. Then take your tools and very carefully remove both plastic washers holding the rotors in place. And be careful not to mix the washers. Next remove the rotors from the stators exactly as I am. Do not flip the stator. And finally after removing the rotor look inside the bearing hole of the stator and look for a rubber grommet. This grommet prevents the rotor from wobbling and seals the bearing from leaking. There might be another one on the rotor careful not to lose them. Now we will have to make a few measurements with the vernier caliper in order to determine if the rotors are compatible. The first measurement is the external diameter of the rotor, next up is the internal diameter of the magnet of the rotor, after that the rotor thickness, after that is the thickness of the axle, then the length of the axle, and finally the position of the slot for the washer. Some of these measurements do have some acceptable deviations. After making the transfer you have to be sure that the new rotor is not rubbing anywhere and the axle is not wobbling inside of the bearing. If all the measurements added up put the new rotor on the stator. Then carefully put back the grommet and the washer on the axle. All we have to do now is lubricate the fan and close up the bearing. You can also check out my basic PC fan maintenance tutorial so you can see how to properly complete the reconstruction of your fan. And Franken fan is done. All we have to do now is test it. I would like to note that the fins and the magnet on the new rotor are different than the ones on the original. This means that the restored fan will have different airflow, noise and RPM specifications than the original one. As for the broken rotor and the burnt stator, I will keep them. In one of my future videos I will construct an interesting device with them. The purpose of this tutorial is to teach you how to restore a broken fan into working order and to show you how to disassemble a fan rotor from its stator. This tutorial may also apply to laptop or video card blowers turbines and other air cooling solutions. Sometimes you cannot buy a replacement cooling unit, especially if it's a non-standard custom one. Sometimes you may have to make one working cooler from two damaged ones. And this concludes this video. Like, comment and subscribe for more tech videos. The Order signing out.